What's up, guys? It's your boy, Jay. Welcome to Jay's World. So let's talk. You know how we do it. So let's get into it. And welcome to another edition of Jay Topics. All right, y'all. The showdown happened. Monica versus Brandy. The versus. What did you guys think? Did you all enjoy that show? Honestly. No, seriously, let's, let's just get into some things, honestly. Did you all really enjoy that show? Okay. Well, let me just start off by telling you right now. Monica got on my nerves. Monica irritated me the whole three hours. I feel that Monica has the nastiest, stankiest attitude ever. Like, seriously, she has the nastiest, stankest attitude ever. And I can tell you right now, if you are a Monica fan, y'all about to get so mad at me. Y'all about to get real mad at me, like seriously. But Monica got on my damn nerves the whole three hours. Now, let, let me just say this. Let me say this. I am not in any way defending Brandy Norwood, okay? Because I've heard that Brandy can definitely have her ways. I remember uh, hearing about Brandy on uh, Moesha, how she used to bully Countess Vaughn, okay? So I've definitely heard that Miss Brandy Norwood can be a piece of work. But the one thing that I can say about Brandy Norwood, when it's time to be professional, she's definitely professional. And I just don't understand. Okay, wait. I'm, I'm I'm getting ahead of myself. Okay, let's let's just start from the beginning. Okay, first of all, I had an issue with the fact that the show started late. If I'm not mistaken, I believe it was about a half hour late. Okay, here in here in St. Louis, you know, Central Standard Time, it started at seven o'clock. You know, I flipped it over there on uh, you know, the verses uh, versus TV on Instagram. And they had the music, you know, they had like a DJ and the music going on. So I was cool, you know, that it didn't start exactly, exactly on time. But I was not expecting the show to start that late. If I'm not mistaken, I believe the show started like about 30 minutes late, you know, because like the first 10 minutes, you know, the, the DJ was hyping everybody up and it was kind of cool or whatever. But then after a while, I was like, okay, uh, are y'all gonna get this show started or what? Okay. So finally, the show gets started. Both of the ladies come out. And I have to give it to Monica. I felt that Monica looked really, really good. You know, I don't I can't remember what designer outfit she had on or whatever. I just know she looked amazing. Her hair was amazing, her hat was amazing, you know, the, the blouse and the little fitted thing around her waist and the in the in the slack she really really looked good um <laughs> brandy brandy looked relaxed she looked relaxed brandy looked as if she had just come from the convenience store on her way to the laundromat and she decided to just you know hey i'm gonna go down to tyler Perry studios and do a versus you know <laughs> She had some like big old stovepipe leg jeans on and she had a leather jacket and I forget what type of top she had on and of course she had her signature trademark braids. If, if, if I had to describe um, Brandy's look, it was very hobo chic, you know, the only thing she was missing was like the big glasses and the big floppy hat, you know, if you guys are familiar with that style of fashion. So anyway, so, but for the most part, the ladies still look good. And they came out and they hugged each other. And there was a, just a lot of dry pleasantries or whatever, you know. And it just seemed, the energy just felt really just tight and tense. You know, it just had a, the energy was very nervous. And, uh, and again, on Monica's end, I just felt stankness. And, and you know, so... They were like, well, who's going to start first? And, and Monica said, well, uh, since this is my town, I'll let you go first. Okay, so Brandy was like, okay, cool. Well, I'll go first. And then Brandy didn't seem like she exactly knew what to do. It, it, wait a minute. Let me ask y'all this. Is it just me or did it just seem like it was kind of thrown together? It was almost as if these ladies weren't briefed about 
what was going to actually happen on this show at all. I, it, it just seemed very, very thrown together. But anyway, I believe a producer or something told them to hold up, hold up, ladies. Don't start the show. Don't start the show because we have a surprise for you. Then out pops Kamala Harris. Yes, Kamala Harris pandering to the crowd with her Howard University t-shirt on and she's, oh ladies, oh I just love both of you. Oh, you're just so, I love both of your voices. I enjoy your music. Y'all, let me tell you something. I'm sorry, if you, if you don't know, I'm telling you right now, I cannot stand Kamala Harris. I feel Kamala Harris panders to the black audience. I feel Kamala Harris is fake. I feel that she's a chameleon. I feel that she will change with any environment that it takes as long as she gets a vote, okay? Sorry, I do not like Kamala Harris, and I've said this before on this channel, but this November, I'm definitely going to vote so we can get the orange one out of the White House, y'all. Don't worry, I'm voting, but I do not like Kamala Harris. So anyway, so Kamala Harris, she goes on with her little fake little spiel, how she's a big fan, blah, 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 and everyone needs to get out and vote and use their voices, da, da, da. So we get past that, okay? So now it's time for the verses. So uh, Brandy starts her, her first song, and you know, the ladies are just kind of sitting there and bobbing, and, you know. Again, the energy just feels really, really t intense. It just feels stale and, 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 and just stoic, you know? It just, it, 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 it just didn't feel right. And I felt that Brandy, for the most part, really did come to play. I feel that Brandy came to play. She was like, okay, you know what? It is what it is. Let's try to, you know, have some fun. Let's get a little silly. Let's kind of, you know, whatever. And I just felt every time Brandy tried to make an attempt to lighten the mood, Monica was very... But Monica just acted as if she didn't want to be there. You know, and she, she acted as if she was just annoyed at, at Brandy. She was annoyed at the fact that she had to be there. And her whole energy was just stank. I'm sorry, y'all. And I'm sorry, all Monica fans. But your girl was just stank. She honestly was. I felt that Brandy did her best to lighten the mood, but no matter what Brandy did, Monica was not having it because for whatever reason, Monica has not released this tension between these two ladies. And I feel personally that it was a missed opportunity. It was just a missed opportunity for both of these ladies. You know, I mean, and, 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 and I'm sorry, I'm, I don't mean to keep getting on Monica, but my thing is this, why would you get up out of the bed throw water on your ass, put some clothes on, and come all the way down there to the Tyler Perry Studios just to act the damn fool. If Monica, if you did not want to do it, then you should have stayed your ass at home. Like, seriously. Y'all, I'm sorry. Monica irked the pure hell out of me. She honestly did. All the way up until the end. Like I said, and then we went from them, you know, playing the hits. Now the hits were great. I love the songs. The, both of these ladies have a lot of hits. They were even playing songs that I forgot that both of them had actually made. Okay, but then we got to a part of the um, of, of the show when Monica introduced new music of hers. <sighs> Y'all, I hate when artists do that. You know, have you ever like gone to a concert? And you know, your 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 favorite artist, you know, they're jamming out to their music, and everybody's like all into it. And then they announce that they're about to do new music, and everybody's like, <laughs> I was like, I don't want to hear your new music. Like seriously, I don't want to hear your new music. Like you know, if, if, do your new music another time. You know, this is a versus. It's about you know old school. It's about a, a reminiscing, you know, singing along and acting silly. So after that, then they went back to, you know, playing more music. And of course, Brandy with her poems. Now, Brandy, I felt that your poems were just a bit much. Don't get me wrong. They were nice poems. I didn't mind the first two, but then the poems got a little old after a while. You know, I, I, I wasn't here for all the poems. Then Brandy started introducing her new music. And the whole time, I'm like looking at this clock going like, uh, when y'all gonna wrap this up? When are y'all gonna get to sing in the boy's mind? Because let's be honest, I don't care how much music both of these ladies made, 
we were all ready to hear them both. I know they weren't going to do the whole song, but at least kind of, I don't know, we just want, I wanted to hear the boys' mind, okay? But of course, they, that was at the very end of the show. So, like I said, y'all, that was just the entire energy of the, of the whole show. It just really was. And three hours worth. Three hours. Y'all, I mean, I just felt like I wasted my time, you know? I, I, did, I, I didn't enjoy it at all. As a matter of fact, I... I almost felt as if I wanted my time reclaimed. I felt like Congresswoman Maxine Waters reclaiming my time. Y'all, I was trying, I was just reclaiming my time if I could. And it just, I don't know, I, I didn't like it. What did what do you guys think? Did did you like it? I mean, and, and I I know you you Monica fans are probably gonna turn me up down in the comment section. That's fine. Y'all can disagree with me. But honestly, it's not even about me necessarily being on one lady's side or another. Because I honestly like both of them. But I'm sorry. Monica's attitude was just nasty. It was stank and it just didn't make any sense. And I felt that the fans, we, the fans, deserved better than what she gave. I'm sorry, that's just how I felt. So we finally get to the end of the, you know, this, this verses, you know. And um, they finally get to the boy's mind. Finally, finally, after two plus hours, you know, we finally get to the boy's mind. And then that just kind of fizzled out. You know, both of them were just sitting in their chairs, swaying and rocking, and just kind of, then they kind of stood up a little bit and they played with it a little bit. But it was just like, boom, 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 wow. It was it. And was it just me or did that show end super abruptly? It was just weird. It's like, once the song ended, they kind of fake hugged or whatever. The music stopped. And then Brandy goes, look for the tour. The tour is coming soon. And then they walk off. And they're like, bloop. And it was over. I was like, oh, okay. That was three hours that I'll never get back out of my life. I don't know, y'all. I, I didn't like it. I didn't like it at all. It just it just left a bad taste in my mouth. As a matter of fact, it left a taste in my mouth so bad that I'm almost kind of over these verses. I really am. I don't know. It's just like the whole show is boring. <sighs> so th that's that's my review of the verses between Monica and Brandy. What did you guys think? Did you feel that um, Monica was right in her behavior? Or did you feel that maybe Brandy had a nasty attitude? Let me know down in the comments section. Because I know I'm already stirred the hornet's nest. And I know you Monica fans are going to come for me. All right. But just keep it respectful when you do. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> the boys, mind the boys, mind the boys, mind the boys, mind the boys. Anyway. <laughs> all right, guys. That's it. That's all I got. Please don't forget to rate, comment, and do what? Subscribe. Please subscribe to my channel, and after you subscribe, please don't forget to hit the bell icon, because when you hit that bell icon, YouTube will send you notifications of all of my latest videos, and you too can be down with the notification squad. That's it, guys. That's all I got, and I'll holler at you later. Peace.